morning, everyone. I am Regina Booz, and I'm taking my mask off because guess what? I'm in a private space, and it's only the fairies and I. Anyway, I am Regina Booz, also known as Aunt Gina, um, Miss Regina, a variety of things. And I'm here today with you to talk about uh, fairies. How do you make a fairy? Well, guess what? Remember, we said how you make the fairy dress. Hmm. And you really want to use silk flowers or artificial flowers. You can use a real flower, but once you pick it off that stem, it is starting to die. And when you come out the next morning and be all wilted, like, oh no, what happened? My fairies keep clothes. And then they fall apart. And then your fairy is standing there naked, like, oh, what happened here? <laughs> so, you want stems from the dollar store. Or if your family has some old ones that they don't want anymore and they want to throw them away, like, wait, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. There's fairy clothes over there, I see them. So, this is going to be the fairy dress. And these leaves are going to be the fairy's wings. Now, you said, where's Penelope's ring? Well, they don't walk around with their wings open all the time because what happens is the wind blows, they get caught in the wind, they get start to get tattered, like, oh no. <laughs> so they just fold them up and walk around. I'm sure we can do something with this. This will be another video. You're going to need a fairy body and fairy legs. So, all right. Let's see. Penelope, since you seem to be the star right now, do you mind if I show them? Okay, I'm sorry. All right, so Penelope has pink legs because she has a pink dress. She has pink arms because she has a pink dress. She likes to match. But some of them are ready. Connie has a brown pair of legs, brown arms, brown hair, brown face. She likes to match too, so she doesn't match her dress. But she does have a little bit of brown in her. Bye, Connie. Okay, you, you have another story. Now, Sparkle, that is her nickname. I won't tell you what her real name is. But you can see why we're calling her Sparkle. She is all sparkly. Mm -hmm. Even to the top of her head. Okay, so let's get, shall we make a sparkly one? What do you think? Yes, already. Pipe cleaner. <laughs> now, we're going, we have to cut this because this is going to be your fairy's body and your fairy's arms. Okay, so over here in my handy dandy little bag, uh, over here in my handy dandy little bag was a pair of scissors. I should have laid them all out first. Handy dandy bag. By the way, so you can keep your workspace nice and neat. These are washed and sanitized meat trays. So they get right there. Put your wings over there. So family, whenever you're cooking, Clean your trays, put a little bit of bleach on them, save them, so that we can use them. All right, what happened to the scissors? Well, since I can't find my scissors, yes, I did. This is kind of like a Mary Poppins bag. Right here. Let's wave the wand over. Find the stuff I want. Oh yeah, I have a few tricks. Notice there are safety scissors so that you do not cut yourself. And this fairy should be about this tall. So what I'm gonna do is I'll roll this in half, well not in half, just like that. And we're gonna cut this part off for your fairy's arms, okay? Yeah. 
squeeze. See that? Now it's really two, but it looks like one. Okay. Turn your flower to the top side. And I don't know if you can see in there, but there is a little tiny hole. That's where your the top of your pipe cleaner is going to go. Now, it's kind of tricky because Ron, they said, no, no, don't show, don't show. Okay, I'm showing anyway. I'm going in. I'm going in there. I'm pushing this through. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. <sighs> you know what? No, I'm not. <laughs> but I do have a way to go into that tiny little space. Take this part off. I'm making the space bigger. Take that part off. That part right there that said, no, you're not. And I said, yes, I am. Ha ha, I am. So now I have a much bigger hole. And it's going to be so much easier. Now, remember how you took that off so you can put it back on? And I put the little part down there because she needs panties. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. We almost have a fairy. We have a fairy body. We have a fairy outfit on. And we need arms. So you take your little piece like that and you wrap it around one time. So now, this is what you have. Now, if she was naked, this is what you have. She is naked. <laughs> okay. Pull that back up. Wings. We forgot the wings. Okay. So, I think I might put her wings. Let's see. I can put her wings on top or on the bottom. Okay, let's put them on top. So, arms on first. Then I'm putting her wings off. So she wants to fly away already. She needs a head. Hmm. And... I'm going to borrow one from my niece's little goodie bag right here. Do you mind? Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, she has two heads in it. I wonder I couldn't find the other head. All right, one head is coming out of here. Um, I've never seen a two-headed fairy, but it could happen. All right, so here's her little head right there. It goes right on top. Let's go in. Oh, guess what? Get in there. Okay. So, you want to pull the top piece out because if you want to put a little hat on her, there's her hat. Now, hmm, she's looking awfully semi-naked here. I think I might need two. Let's, let's put a second... Uh, blossom on her. Some fairies need more than one flower. Sometimes they need two. And we already found out that uh, we're not going to go into this the easy way. So, I mean the hard way. So, we'll take that off. We'll put this on there. And I think I want this. Let's make a little top for her. So, yes, I undressed her. You know, when you buy, when you're buying clothes, you do things, you try them on and see how they look on you. So the same thing with making fairies. You're gonna try on this little outfit. Let's see, I like that part. All right, I'm putting this part back on. All right, back in the hole. Back in the hole. Oh, it's looking better already. And we still have more clothes to put on her. All righty. So back in the hole. The good thing about knowing that you are creating this fairy rather than a baby's laugh creating the fairy is that you can decide how you want her to look. You can decide how many layers you want to put on her. You can decide if you want them all the same color. Do you want to mix colors? For example, teeny tiny here, has two different kinds of flowers on her. So actually three, she has one for her hat, 
one for her overskirt and one for her underskirt. And in the underskirt, there's even a little bit of yellow that if you hadn't turned her over, you would never have known. It's a secret petticoat. All right, we are almost finished with this fairy. She's gonna be so cute. And, hmm, since I made her to show you how to make a fairy, I think I'll let you uh, name her. So, oh look, there she is. Oh, I'm gonna give her some feet, so I'm gonna bend that little wire down like that on the wire, feet. Okay, now she has feet. And I think her hat is too big. I can't see her under the hat. So I'm gonna take that hat off and put this little hat on. Give him a little. Alrighty. Okay. Got a little clear hat. All right. Sometimes I make things hard for myself. Like I was fine without the hat. Now that I wanted to have a hat on, I do there. All right. She has a little beanie, and that little piece that's left right there, I'm just gonna bend it down because it holds her head in place. And where are her arms? sure her body's going the right way and her wings and voila we have a brand new fairy with a hat on and some cute little feet and her wings so miss fairy would you like to introduce yourself hi i'm just born i don't i don't really know okay bye why is one of my wings crooked well, because you are just born, you haven't used them yet, and they will fluff out with your use. You need to make a book for your fairy. You do, because your fairies are newly born. There's no stories written about them yet. Now, you might have to give them some adventures to write about, or some dreams to write about, but the point is, you need a little book. And that way, you can always tell the same story because you wrote it down. Now, if you don't want to tell the same story, then write more books. Each book should have a story or two in it. You need a piece of paper, and it can be any kind of paper. Fold it. Now, I'm not going to make it too tiny. Yes, I am. <laughs> because if you're using a stapler and you want to staple your pages in you can't get it in there this is a piece of card stock that I've already cut so here let's cut it this way <laughs> all right and then we're full oh it's gonna be a, a tall skinny book all righty so here's your book cover so since you have a tall skinny book that determines how you cut your paper. Alrighty, so the paper was, uh, the cardstock was about that size, yes. Alrighty, so let's cut this in half. And because we have two pieces, one, piece of paper will make four pages. So you can either have an eight page book or a four page book. Okay. So there's two cut pieces of paper. This is what we started with. So we've cut our paper. Now we're folding it again because it's going to fit into the cover of the book. Now, here's where your stapler comes in. 
and staple on the back of the book so that it protects your fingers. One. And you can put it down and do it. You probably should. Two. And three. Three staples down the spine of your book. Inside right there. You could put a piece of tape on it, but you don't have to. And one fairy book. So why doesn't your book look like this book? Well, because you haven't trimmed it. Mm -hmm. But I thought the paper was the same size. It was, and then you folded it over, so you lost a little space. Alrighty. Trimming your book. Now. Oops. Oh, Penelope, guess what? That book is almost your size. I think she should have that book, don't you? And I think that's going to be about her visit to the library and how somebody, we won't say who, somebody told her hmm, her public name, Penelope, and her nickname, Penny, but she did not tell the private name. Remember, fairies have at least three names. They may have more. So, oh, we still have one more book to make. Okay, all this this way. Do you remember what I do next? What should I do next? Did you say fold this one? Uh, this way? No. Why not? Hey, we could, but you guys, you fold your paper. I don't think that's true. Paper and book cover must match. All right. So, folding it, gave it a crease, now what? So now I have these two, what should I do with them? Oh, okay, put this in there. All right, oh look, they match. And now what, what did you say? Staple, okay, right here. How many? Okay, three, one. Two, three. So we have a staple at the top, in the middle, and at the bottom. And now what? Oh, okay. Fold it and trim it. Okay. Well, what if I don't want it trim? We can, we can leave it like it is. Now, you can decorate your book covers. You can either draw pictures on them. You can put stickers on them. Hmm. I have a box over here. I keep all of my fairy supplies over in a box because it keeps them neat. And I see down here again a few things from my favorite you know where store. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody mentioned that word. <laughs> Your supplies don't have to be expensive. They really don't. And there, put this back over here. Ooh, I like this. I think I'm just gonna make a border. Um, so I'm just gonna use a few. You know what, I like the other side of it even better. <laughs> I like sparkly stuff. All right, so one piece down here. Move that out the way so you can actually, ladies. Thank you. Oh, look, she fits right there. And then I will cut this. You know, when I was working with college students, they used to laugh at me about my little scissors. And I said, well, safety scissors have a safe spot there. And if you have children at home, you will appreciate safety scissors. Oh, Dr. Booz, my children don't get into my stuff. Uh -huh. So you say. Yes, they do. And how do I know they do? Because I was a kid and I got into everything my parents had. I didn't let them know that I was into it. But I was a curious child. 
Some things were good for me to know about, some things were not good for me to know about. Uh, my father uh, was in school and he had chemicals for his chemistry experiments. So was it good for me to get into those? No. Did I get into those? No. You know why? Because my father explained to me that if I did, they would make me sick. And since I didn't want to be sick, I just said, well, I guess I'll be that tomorrow. Alrighty. So here's my book. The decorated one. Okay. The undecorated one. You can do whatever you like with your books. Now, sorry, little butterfly, I'm going to borrow you for a minute. Say you had a butterfly, so you could take paste or tape or staple your butterfly onto your cover, and you'd have a nice little book. This one is too big for that, because his wings are hanging over. This one is just right, but because this one was part of Penelope's story, I'm not going to staple it. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Penelope? No? Okay, she said no. <laughs> okay, I think she likes to have a pet. So, all right, there we are. Always clean up your mess. Always have a little bag or something. Now, for those of you who just want to have your own fairies, guess what? There will be fairies that need to be made. By whom did you say? Did you say by yourself? Yes. And the Lovejoy branch has something special for you. It has fairy kits. Look. It comes with their bodies, their arms, their dress, a book, a head, a hat, and does this one have wings? Hmm. This one will have wings by the time you see it. This one does have wings. So, stop by one day and pick up your little fairy kits. There they are. So, have fun making fairies. And if you are watching this on YouTube and you have a question, pose the question on YouTube. And if I see it, I will answer it for you. Okay? So, thank you. Bye, everybody. Say goodbye, children.